Hello everybody, welcome to my channel here at Creators Call Shop on YouTube. My name is Marcy and it is with great delight and pleasure that I present for you today for your viewing entertainment and enjoyment the finished journal that I've been working on. This is an adventure themed Art Nouveau Art Deco tinged female um, female encouragement journal. <laughs> it doesn't have a real good title. So this is the journal that I've been making for my friend's daughter and I finished it up last night. I am so pleased with how it turned out. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick flip through of this. Before we get started, get yourselves comfy or if you're trying to craft along, uh, get your stuff. But um, I don't know how you craft and watch a flip through. <laughs> so anyway, that's what we're doing today. I will keep this video mercifully short and um, I'll meet you right back here in just a second. I am filming this standing up because this journal is a little bit bigger and I needed to raise up my viewfinder and make sure that I can see that I'm in frame. So my angle and my voice are probably just a little bit different. I'm getting ready to leave the house very soon so I wanted to make sure I got the flip through filmed in so you guys could view it. And I'll have to let you know down the road if she loved it or not. <laughs> I'm not exactly sure when she's giving this to her daughter because her daughter lives in another state. but. I'm sure that uh, my friend will be looking through it first before she gives it to her. So I really, I just really hope a lot of me and a lot of encouragement and love went into this and that, and that the woman who's going to be using it feels that. So I showed you the cover in my last video, but here it is all decoupaged. As we go flipping through, I did do some things that I showed in the last video and then I changed my mind as per usual. So, you know, art is prerogative. That's what you do, right? And that's okay. Here's the spine, nothing fancy other than I cut the tip of the butterfly wing and wrapped it around to the spine. And then here's the back with all of the decoupage ladies. If you missed my last video, I did use some principles from Mrs. Cog's Crafts on Etsy. She will be linked below. But the ones that I used were Bohemian Magazine covers. Some, uh, just a couple from this tea time. And then the last one is the Fabulous Calendar Ladies of Edward Mason Eggleston. And a lot of those are the mini ones that you see. There's, you'll see, they repeat. Some are big and some are small, but that is, um, yeah, so I guess actually the fourth one, the minis are their own, own um, printable, which I don't have the label for. So that's what I use throughout to kind of give it that feeling. Most of this is papers and things that I already had in my stash. A couple of things I recently found at the thrift store, like these cute pages. And I think these may actually be authentic. I don't know, they may be reproduction. I'll show you in my next video, which will be a thrift store haul. And um, you guys can decide for yourself, but they look pretty authentic and they're in the style of the 30s. So I really think they helped add to it. And then aside from the printables, I'm trying to think what else I might've purchased. I purchased all the map pages, so. I didn't have any of those in my stash and that that really helped add to it. I did include, since she's not a junk journal user and probably not familiar with it, I did include my little blurb about what is it and how do you use it. So that's up here in the front. I stamped the this book belongs to you on one of these cute little journal cards and just made a cute little tuck pocket here. And then this was something I got in a swap a long time ago. Uh, when the pocket letters were popular, I got this in a swap and I just think, I just held on to her. I just think she's so cute, but she's perfectly the right style for this. So she's going to, to live in this journal now, which is great. I also did a little bit of doctoring of the pages. So there was a very whimsical cartoony butterfly here. I just covered it up with, a, with one of these ephemera pieces couple of them. Added a butterfly up here. Wanted them to know it was a tuck spot so I just stuck in a in a um, this is a business card but I use them like labels. This was a staggered pocket with torn edges so I just stuffed a few things in there. I'm not going to do too much explaining because it's really not important. <laughs> but 
This uh, came out of a book that's supposed to be a travel diary, and so I just tore a couple pages out, stuck them in there. Here's some more of these. Aren't they the cutest? And then these I just glued down to look like they were spilling out of the pocket. I think you saw this page last time. I'll try, I got a glare here, and I will try to avoid it, but I don't know how you avoid the glare and still have light on your subject. Because I do need enough light. It's early morning and it's kind of kind of um, dark here. I'm going to try and prop that up on that side. There we go. There we go. So I just covered where the writing was or the printing on the page and just left the pretty image. Covered this found some things to tuck into all these long skinny pockets. So I just have a lot of these little notepad pages and stuck them in wherever they would fit because I'm trying to encourage her to write. This is to be for just healing and processing her journey. Here's this lady. That really wanted to show her the purpose of writing. And then of course in the explanation, it tells her that she can also glue things or tape things or put pictures or whatever she wants to do of these. I wanted to dress this up a little bit more, but I couldn't come up with anything. And she can just write here. I did some stamping. I repeated this stamp, which is one of my favorite things to do as I go through a journal is to just repeat certain elements or certain little design features. A lot of these were homemade tags, but then I had a bunch in my stack uh, that were already in my stack, in my stash, that were uh, Graphic 45 pieces, and they all had that Art Deco travel theme, which I never thought I would use, but now they go very nicely in this journal, so that was a nice... You know, sometimes you get things and you like them, but you just don't know what you're going to use them for. And then one day, along comes a project that just shows you what you can use them for. I tried to put this stamp in lots of places so she would realize that it was okay to write. I changed this up a little bit, just changed up what I put in here. Here's Tony the tiger. He just slips under this belly band. In here is a an envelope pocket. I'm pleased to say that I used, I believe, every single element that I had out. Everything that I wanted to use, I did end up using. So that's, that's always a good feeling when you can do that. Feel so accomplished when that happens. <laughs> and this is probably doesn't need to be there now. A bunch of these were just random things I'd found at thrift stores or gotten for free and I just kept them because I liked them and now they're all going together in this journal. And this is just a pocket it doesn't flip up. I just covered this with this image and backed it on some of that paper but it still has the happy images of people dancing. And then I decorated the belly band here. I don't remember if I had already stenciled there or not. And then I just put a blank piece of paper in there. Copy dyed, punched the corners. And then where I could, I tried to just jazz up some of these pages, but she can still write all the way around. Most of these recipe ones I kind of covered up, but there are a couple that actually pretty much had the whole recipe and seemed like they might be fun all purpose generic recipes she could use. So here's these. This is one of those matchbook style notepads. So I just put a bunch of different papers in there. Then I again stamped a note so she knew what to do. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of obvious, but again, if you're not used to the concept of a junk journal, you may not, you may be a little overwhelmed, I think, when you look at it. Then I decided to just add a little paper clip here to help keep that shut. Stuck a few things in the pocket. These are postcards that are supposed to go through your printer, but I really liked the design on them. Notebook paper, and then just a book of um, 
this is a page from a book that has like different prompts and thoughtful things in it. So I just happened to like all the ones that were on that page. So I stuck it in there, to give her things to think about, ways to dream or plan. Added a flower down here. And these are pockets. We did this one together on, on camera. Tried to just jazz up some of the planer spots with some of these stickers and um, stickers and printables, you know. Here's our two little ladies. Added that, did this, added this. Here's this tag. I gave it a tag shape at the top. Added a label and some washi because it looked kind of weird. And then this one I trimmed way down. So there's not much to it, but I did like, it says write me soon. Like kind of that travel theme. Then of course there are these um, art pages in here. Oh, this is the one I've been trying to figure out. <laughs> I knew I had an extra one somewhere that had nothing on it and I couldn't find it. Like I flipped through here a dozen times last night and I knew I had a, a arrangement to put on there, but um, now it's just blank. So it's gonna just stay blank. I don't know if I have a sticker or something I can stick on there. I pretty much used all of the stickers. I might put, I might take these alphabets and just write dream. In fact, let's do that really fast. Dream. Gotta find the M's on here. And then let's see if we can do plan. green, so I guess yellow. Oh. Dream and plan. There we go. Now I'm happy. <laughs> Yay. Now she knows to write on there. Dream and plan. Okay. Moving right along. I didn't decorate the back of these because these are for coloring and so that the color bleeds through. I didn't want it to interfere with whatever was on the page. Then I have this little piece that I did a, you know, I made it like a flip out, but I left the option to tuck something behind it. So this is what is behind it. So what do you guys have planned for today? I'm going to get my massage. I'm gonna go kick around at Joanne's, see if there's anything interesting like in the paper section since scrap of paper is getting scarce now all of a sudden. I'm having a scarcity mindset, <laughs> which in all honesty is making me happy that I did buy all those papers and haven't used them yet because now I have a stash to pull from <laughs> and I no longer need to feel guilty for that. Turns out it worked out in the end. Okay, this was again from that same swap where I got the other tag at the front of the book. The lady also made this really pretty postcard and it's just so bright and colorful. I didn't know what to do with it for ages and ages, but I think again, it fits the style of this book. Here's one of those tea time printables. I put it on the front of the pocket and then another postcard. I have this, whatever that is. I think it's a time card, yeah. And a Yahtzee score pad thing. There we go. Artistically arranged. Probably get all messed up when I, when I carry it anyway. So here's the envelope pocket, and then just this really pretty, vibrant card blank inside. And then I just, you saw me do this, but then I added the butterfly. I did this on camera, adding this little piece to the flip out, and we added added um, washi tape. But then I went back and I, re I reinforced the hole with some of the inked up reinforcers and added a little, a little uh, sparkly, topper to it. Here's the back side. This is just wallpaper. Here again, I use a little of the washi and one of those printable images to dress up the page. You saw me add this, but then I went back. I had a spare one of these images, added a butterfly, threw some washi. I was trying to fill up the white space, so I hope that worked. <laughs> I hope it looks good. It looks good from up here. 
then here's the little scrappy notepad thing that we made. And the nice thing about this is if she fills this up, she can untie this and put new pages in it. That's just a simple way to make, make yourself a writing pad. And then on the back here, it was just looking plain and I was trying to figure out how to join this seam here, but I have all these again that I, I had printed one set accidentally on copy paper. Turned out to be great because they were thin enough that I could use them for layering in other places throughout this journal. And so my mistake turned out to work very well for my advantage. So I just kind of arranged them so they filled up the page. And I was wanting more of people that looked adventurous. I mean, these ladies, are looking very fancy and dressed up and frou-frou, but they also have lots of color and they have a real attitude and, and um, character, kind of like a lot of confidence, and that's also what I'm trying to put in this journal. I added a butterfly here. Here's our flip up. And I stamped on the inside. It's just lined with a piece of notepad paper. Now this one I am especially proud of. So this was just that flap. And I had this portfolio looking uh, book page, like portfolio envelope. And so I went ahead and I attached it because it was, it filled it up very nicely. Also it has a really neat, neat uh, image of the garden in winter. And then I went ahead and added this butterfly because the colors are pretty and they just kind of mix this whole thing together. Added a tiny little label. But then when I laid it down, I put this piece of twine. And so it actually opens on this side. And then inside is a piece of this paper. Or <laughs> and then on the inside is a journal card. And I want to add a couple more of those notepad pages. I think I'd like a couple more of these in here just to, just to fill the pocket. And then also you can see that that's a separate piece from that. And then all she has to do, I wanted something, you know, that was a little more interactive. So... I just decided it would be cute to tie it on this side with the twine, but open from the other side. I'm very pleased with how that turned out. It doesn't have to be beautiful. And then also the twine element ties in with the twine element on this notepad. So, And then I just put this here so it would fill up the page, look pretty, and it also kind of helps secure the tie there. Just a beautiful image from a painting book. And then here I put one of these fold down writing spaces and it fastens here with one of these smaller images and then this is one of the things like I moved this around to where I thought it fit better folded this in half I think I moved that too from wherever I put it originally and then they fill in the back back there I put this pocket down here to kind of fill up that space and then here's what's inside these are just random bits and pieces. Now I don't like that this lady's face is competing with their faces so that's partly why I put that in there so that you would see them first and then she's kind of peeking out. So, Otherwise it looks really awkward with this giant face behind their faces. Here's this. I added a butterfly and put the sticker up there. I can't remember did I do that on camera? I talked about it. I don't think I got it glued on though. Here's our little flip out. I could have put more like blank space to write, but I decided not to, so she has the option to do whatever there. And then I left the dictionary pages how they need to go, just plain, you know. This, I doc doctored up this pocket and I reinforced the edge with some washi tape because it was definitely gonna be fragile. Another Yahtzee score sheet, a giant journal card, and then I just put her down with the, and used these st stickers that look like photo corners. The thing about an oversized journal is that you really have to think hard about what you're going to put in it that is big. Because, see once again, I have a face behind these two faces, but she's more in scale, so it's a little less alarming. <laughs> but you just have to really think about how you're going to fill all the pages, right? In an oversized journal, you have more to fill. So, Yeah, I think I'm done with oversized and undersized journals for a while unless I do like a scrap buster kind of thing. Okay so here's another one of those pages not torn apart 
I put in there. And then I found these at a thrift store recently as well. And I just thought, since it kind of has the travel theme, why not? She can do whatever she wants to with those, but it they fit in this pocket very nicely. And if she does decide to go somewhere or dream about going somewhere, you know, she can, she can use those. Doctored this up, did some more stamping off camera, I think. I don't think I had a lot of that. I don't think I had that one stamped yet. And then decorated up this pocket, just layered that pretty heart with this young lady. She looks so serene. And more notepad paper, another journal card. A vintage postcard. And then this is a card I made a long time ago and I found it rattling around and I thought this actually sends the right message to her and then is the right colors and stuff. So I put it in this pocket. I included it in the journal. It can kind of rest right there with that flower. And then there we go. Flip out. And then covered this with the music in the background and made a very gigantic tuck spot, but I really like how when the page is shut, the green and the green, all the colors play together and the styles, and so you see that layering there. That always gets me excited. Here's our journal card that we made on camera together. And then this one, I just added that cute, that pretty lady. Didn't do anything with this as you can see. And then I just did some staggered pockets here and stuffed them with some of the smaller ephemera. Little journal card. I like this side, but I also like the map on the other side. It doesn't really blend in very well. Maybe if I put it this way. I mean, it doesn't stand out. It blends in too much to the background. That's better, I think. <laughs> okay, this is a card. Again, I typed it with the um, just a note kind of thing so she knows obviously to write in there I mean she should know by now but anyway uh, pretty pretty paper from a notepad and then I have these two lovely ladies that will I layered up inside there she's sticking out she's peeking over the edge and I like this every moment of the year has its own beauty um, we're getting a glare And then this, I just put down the map page and put one of these in the center to decorate it. And then this was a sticker from that page of stickers. So I used it to jazz up the edge. And it also really helps add that Art Nouveau feeling to it. And I put this pretty lady on the back side. And again, she can write all the way around that if she wants or draw or doodle. And then this uh, was one of the pages that I included when I was first putting it together. I kind of was going in a different, slightly different direction and then kind of changed up my mind and came up with the idea of the Art Nouveau, all these adventurous ladies. So this is in there. I do like the look of it. I think it's pretty. And then on the back side, since it was filling in and extending this page, I was going to put something here that had just like a spot to write, but I didn't find anything that was the right size. I also wanted to doctor up this page because this is the front of the signature. And I think I did this after I left, after I went off camera. Let's see if I can find the front of this signature. But there is a lot in these bold blocked colors that look like they've been painted, but it also was just like really uh, so, so bold and so in your face. So I toned it down by doing some of the stamping like I did on this envelope back here um, with a travel map kind of a stamp and some script. And then by adding the butterfly, it had similar colors. So I think that really helped that page, but I also finished it back here and did some more. I, this, when I stamped it, it wasn't all together sewn in yet. So I just laid out the page and just was doing stamping. That helped kind of fill in the blahness of this, but then I had all these little ladies and this random strip from the paper that I was using. And so I just layered them up like this, kind of like a comic strip style or a film strip. And then I think that added to this page. And then I had another one of these, so I just stuck it in there. And I like how these little flowers mimic these flowers and all the colors go together. And then here is that pouch for the pencils and things. And um, I really had intended all along to glue it here. 
but I just kept thinking that maybe if I do that, it may pull off at some point. So I have just decided to lay it here. Now I could maybe take an elastic and just wrap it around to kind of hold it in. I don't know if I have any plain ones. Hang on a sec. Here we go. So this is just a plain elastic. These are really good for if you're making traveler's notebooks and stuff. Not only are they good for closures, but they're also good for um, just making those bands around your traveler's notebook. So I think if I just put that on there, that will help kind of hold that in. It won't interfere too much, or she can wrap it around the whole journal if she wants. I have tie for it. There we go, that makes me feel a little bit better. It's secured without being, without messing up the book. After I said I would make this journal, I found this at the thrift store and it really fit exactly what I was trying to express in this journal. So I really want her to absorb that message and to understand it. And there it is, all completed. And then I have this, this is just a random tie from something, probably a pair of pants or something at some point. <laughs> you know how you save those things and you think, oh, it'll be good for something, but you don't know what the something is? This is the something. So I'm gonna tie it all up. Here we go. So I really, really hope she likes it. I really hope she uses it to um, just process all the stuff she's going through, to dream, to plan, to heal. You know, that's what journals are for, right? That concludes my flip through of this journal. Truly a lot of fun to put together and challenged me again to think of different things and come up with ways to get to the, um, to the effect and the theme that I wanted. And I really hope that it was obvious in here that you felt the Art Deco, Art Nouveau, that you felt the female spirit and adventure and planning and enjoyment of life. I didn't have any stickers that say joie de vivre, but that would have been great if I did. But that's kind of the idea. I am hopeful that this fits her personality because again, I, I don't know her. All right, we are ready for our quote for the day. We're reading from this book again, Patches of Godlight by Jan Karen. And I picked this quote because um, I'm hoping that it expresses my goal in creating this journal. And this is from the 1600s, so please forgive the overly flowery language, but I think you'll get the point. Books are not dead things, but do contain a potency of life, as active as that soul was whose progeny they are. Nay, they do preserve, as in a vial, the purest extraction of that living intellect that bred them. So I am the living intellect that bred this book. And hopefully there is some of my life and my spirit in this book, as well as the message that I'm trying to convey. This book is not dead. It is a living and active instrument that hopefully God will use in her life to help her heart to heal and to build her up as a human and, and to rebuild her soul a little bit. So it's active. It's alive. It's my baby, my progeny. And it preserves, hopefully, the purest extraction of what I was trying to put into the book. So that is why I picked that quote. Like I said, it's a little bit flowery. I'll leave it there so you can take a screenshot if you want. That wraps up our video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the flip through. As always, remember to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. It's down below or right on the screen, right about in here somewhere. Uh, there's a box that says subscribe and you can click that as well. Remember to leave me a comment. Let me know about your thoughts. If you were to put together a journal like this, what would you put in it? What would you try to tell the person that was receiving it? Especially if you didn't know them, how would that go? That's your homework assignment for the week. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our time together because I always enjoy hanging out with you guys. Until next time then, be inspired and do something creative today. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye-bye now. Mm -hmm.